what I'm doing when I'm working with an actor is I'm trying to get them to be present to be in this moment right here and right now and to own everything you say and everything you do so what I mean by present right here and right now is you're not in the past projecting onto this moment either your insecurities or your limitations or your self-consciousness which if we're honest most of us do in, in life anyway that's not just um, actors and performance but you're also not in the future projecting onto this moment what you think this moment should be in order to make it good, right, perfect or interesting. And you see actors doing that when they are trying to control the performance or they're trying to direct or deliver the performance in, in a certain way. And it's not coming from a bad place, you know, their, their intention is to do a good job and um, to deliver something that's going to be meaningful and so I certainly understand that but it's not nearly as interesting if you could just get out of the way of yourself and you can just be yourself within the parameters of the illusion of the character and the illusion of the story that you're telling but it's but it's you it's you within the story the structure and the character that you're playing It's essentially a methodical approach to the creation of character and performance, but specifically what it is, especially in the first six month course, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to access and connect to that instrument that we all have as human beings. The, the instrument is made up of your instincts, your imagination, your body intelligence, your emotional intelligence. So those right brain aptitudes and we're trying to strengthen that muscle, that instrument. We're trying to nurture and cultivate it so that you, you not only are learning this tool of listening and being present, but you're actually you're cultivating and strengthening that ability to be present and ability to really listen moment to moment, working off your other, uh, other partner and working off whatever you're doing in the scene and working off the activity that you may be doing. So outside stimulus is then your thing that you're responding to. So rather than acting, you are simply being and then responding to whatever the stimulus is. Um, Meisner used to talk about how that acting was the ability to live truthfully under the given imaginary circumstances. So as an actor, if you can just come in, be, and respond, hence live, and just work off what those imaginary circumstances are that have been given to you by the other actor, by the story, by the situation, by the other mechanics of either theatre or film, you know, whether it's costume or props or um, the effects that are happening, if you can just be and work off that, or you can work off your imagination if you don't have those things, uh, that that is so much more interesting. What I find particularly compelling about this technique, uh, not just for actors, but also for writers and directors and uh, for people from the corporate sector or those people who, who just want to be living more bravely, what I, what I really love about it is that it is really encouraging you to be who you really are and not be the idea of what you think you should be or who you've been told you should be and largely those meta programs that we've adopted are subconscious we don't live by those rules consciously we don't behave in the way that we behave consciously we do that you know subconsciously and it's not until you get into an environment and a learning um, situation like like these classes and you go wow I'm I really do this, I'm, I really hold myself back from engaging honestly and truthfully and um, I, or I control the situation, I try and control what's going on, either myself or other people, because there is something in interacting with, it, with others that I subconsciously feel is, I don't know, dangerous. Um, and of course that can be inhibiting as an actor, but it's also inhibiting in any kind of profession. Uh, so yeah, I just think that that's really amazing. And it's more fun. <laughs> it's way more fun.
It's way more fun to be yourself in performance. Way more fun to be yourself in life as well. The kinds of people that come on the course, um, mostly actors, um, and some of those people have had experience and uh, or even training beforehand, but the training has been very theoretical, um, and so they're looking for something a lot more practical. Uh, and others who've had no experience, and this is their first leap of faith, uh, and they're really looking for you know some kind of reassurance that they can even do it. And, and a certain amount of confidence to then take the next step. And then there are other people who are writers and directors initially coming on the, to investigate the process of what that's like to work with an actor and what's the, um, the best way to communicate to an actor your vision as a director or as a writer you know, if you can understand conflict better and if you can understand intention and drive and, and motivation better, that you could then write better for actors um, to, to create visual and visceral and real conflict scenes. Um, and then I would say, even though you've got those different um, people from different backgrounds and, and all of that, at least half the class are there for personal or professional development. You know, they're from the corporate sector and they want to have more compelling and authentic and um, real relationships and interactions with their business partners and their team and um, the people that they're selling to, clients and customers. Uh, and people who are investigating for personal development reasons. So they want to be more confident, they want to be more um, authentic in their interactions, um, and they want to uh, you know, get outside of their comfort zone. And people who want to have fun, because the